In this video I'm going to present slang terms for the old British money that were in use in the 1920s and 30s in Mitcham and also in the 1960s. In the first part you'll hear a recording that I made of my father telling me about the terms they used in Rocky during the 1920s and 30s. He was born in that area in 1922. It was called Rocky after one of the terraces, Rock Terrace, but the area also had the nickname of Redskin Village, which referred to the mixture of the population from Romany stock. The terms he gives for the coins may well be Romany in origin. This photograph shows Belgrave Road and the Bath Tavern pub on the corner of Bath Road. It's from a newsreel from 1933 after the chemical factory explosion which wrecked a number of homes in Belgrave Road. Probably if it was a Joey. A Joey? Yeah. A Tanner was a Spraza. Spraza. Yeah. Shilly was a Dina. And you're an old crown. I called it Alba Tosh. Next is the old money slang used in Michigan in the 1960s. It is much that it was what I called the coins, which I think most people did. And I was living in, growing up in Michigan in the 1960s. This picture, by the way, is of the Swan pub in 1966. It's a photograph by Eric Montague, reproduced by permission of the Merton Historical Society. Now, not so much a slang term, but the halfpenny was referred to as an apney. And this one, 1966, has Francis Drake's ship, the Golden Hind, on it. Penny didn't have any particular name other than Penny, and this is Britannia. Now, one and a half pence wasn't typically called one and a half pence. It was usually called three apence, three half pence, three apence. Two pennies was typically called tuppence. This three pence coin is what I'm most used to. This is certainly not a joey because the joey was referring to a silver three pence coin. The symbol on it, the portcullis, a symbol of government. No particular slang term, it's just that it was called a threepenny bit. The sixpence is always known as a tanner, due to it being designed by a Mr. Tanner in the reign of George II. The design on this coin is a garland of flowers. There's a rose for England, a thistle for Scotland, a shamrock for Northern Ireland, and a leek for Wales. The shilling, if you had one that had a single line on it, that was a Scottish shilling. And the English shilling had three lions. And the slang term was a bob. The two shilling piece was actually an attempt to decimalise British money. In 1847, it was called a florin. And being two shillings, it was a tenth of a pound. This also has a rose on it. A thistle. And a shamrock. What happened to the Welsh? Anyway, this half crown, two shillings and sixpence, was known as half a dollar. There were three lions, two lots off, one line for Scotland, and a harp for Northern Ireland. The five shilling piece wasn't in circulation. This is a commemorative coin. In fact, only commemorative coins were minted after the Queen Victoria. This 1937 crown was for George VI, who became king in 1936, but the coronation year was 1937, and it too has the three lions, the one lion, and the harp. Oh, and there's also a road named after King George VI in Mitcham. This is off of Cranmer Road, opposite the Wilson Hospital. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, press the like button. If you didn't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why. And consider subscribing. Bye for now.